What up, people, and welcome to Diversion, providing you a distraction from reality. Today, we're going to be checking out one of the few most anticipated VR titles to date, and that is none other than Pistol Whip by Cloudhead Games. In case you have been living under a rock and have no idea what Pistol Whip is, it is a rhythm-based first-person shooter that has been on everyone's radar since the reveal back in E3 2019. This game is inspired by the action movie John Wick, where you crank out an awesome dubstep soundtrack while you either shoot to the rhythm of the beat or just blast your way through each scene without a care of rhythm and just the desire to embed as much lead as possible into each person you see. One way to describe this game is by saying that it is a mix between Beat Saber and Super Hot, but in reality, I would say that this game is a genre of its own, not yet known in VR. It allows you to play at your own style without the limitations and perfectionism needed by other rhythm-based games that are out there. I have to admit, I've had a lot of fun playing this game for the first time on its official release. So, to get a better feel of how this game plays, let's jump into some gameplay where I try a couple of the levels myself and provide you some of my personal thoughts at the end. Hi guys, so here we are. This is my first time playing. This is going to be my first round, so let's start off with the training because I don't know how to play this yet. I mean, well, I have watched many videos on how to play, but I haven't actually played for real yet. So let's uh, let's start off with training and see how it goes. Okay, it says shoot enemy. Easy enough. those bullets okay for some reason the words aren't popping up like they should be let's, let's see. take damage only way to repair is to shoot the enemy and then to reload your gun you just put your gun right to your side there Duck. And then, of course, you get the good old pistol whip. That was satisfying. All right, there, so there they go. That's how we play. Uh, simple enough. You get shoot, reload, put your gun down, back up. And, uh, of course, dodge enemy fire. Let's uh, start off with black magic, huh? Let's, uh, of course, I'm going to go easy on myself. I, like, I've never played before. Here we go. Jeez. All right. So now we know what it looks like to get shot. Oh, 
I miss that? Oh, I got shot. Well, at least I passed it, right? That was not... Oof. 337. Wow. I got some, uh... 82% accuracy. Hits 100. Pistol whips 2. Hit times. Alright. That was only on easy. So it is easy to miss those bullets coming after you, so... Let's go, uh, scene selection. Alright, I need to turn up the volume. This is, I gotta feel the music. So, let's... Let's upgrade to normal already. We're trying to go with the rhythm of the music this time. It's intense. All right. I'm trying to sync up with the music, trying to make. Oh, that's hard.
So Pistol Whip is a fast paced game that forces you to be better and better with each turn. And once you've perfected a level and get yourself to that global leadership board, you find yourself wanting to up your game. So why not turn on Dead Eye Mode, which removes the aim assist and requires you to use true accuracy. Or maybe you have some fun with turning on Dual Wheel Mode where you can shoot with two guns instead of one. Replayability is very much present in this game and I would highly recommend purchasing this game for yourself. The game comes with 10 scenes at launch, but additional free and paid for scenes are coming in the future. Pistol Whip is available in all major VR headsets, including the Quest, with the freedom of being wireless. Cloudhead Games has also stated that they will be releasing the PlayStation VR version sometime down the road. You can currently pick up this game for $24.99 on Steam and the Oculus Store. I enjoyed sharing with you guys on this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as I try to provide you with all the latest VR games that are available or in development.